Oh, nice. One more. Try and find a solitary target. There's one. Go get her. Take this, ugly. Okay. Now let's go plant this thing. Go, little mouse droid, go! Turn to keeper. All right, let's skedaddle. Actually, am I closer to, uh... Ah, probably not. Sorry, just looking to see what else is in this guy. Destination? Enjoy your stay. Watching me want to see me do the river dance? <laughs> Okay. We did that. What's next? What's up, hombre? You got my bagels? Welcome back, Agent. Excellent work out there. Absolutely excellent. The mouse droid has just sent the contents of the ship's computer, sir. I'll send the military to pick up the dissidents. At least one thing's gone smoothly today. The worst seems to have passed, but don't expect to rest anytime soon. Eh, yeah, I know. Do we know any more about the attack? We're fairly certain the explosion came from inside the Dominator. In all likelihood, one of the civilians on board was the bomber. Keeper, I'm receiving a transmission. Someone's broadcasting a holo recording to the entire Imperial Communications Network. I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's see it, Watcher 2. And track down the source. Citizens of the Empire, this is the Eagle. I'm here to tell you that our government is corrupt. When the Emperor signed his treaty with the Galactic Republic, we were promised a new epoch. 
glory unrivaled since the first Sith dynasty. Instead, our empire has suffered. Apathetic moths and wicked lords of the Dark Council vie for power, while our soldiers die over worthless planets in nameless star systems. Typical consolidationist rhetoric. Watch it too. Keep trying to find a source for the broadcast. Everyone else start pulling up our files on the Eagle. Wait me if he says something interesting. We've been hearing rumors about the Eagle for years, but we never thought he could pull off anything this big. Another mistake. Anyone who speaks out in favor of reform is kidnapped and tortured by Imperial intelligence. This must not continue. The Ministry of Logistics reports that they can't jam the signal. Everyone in the Empire is seeing this. A short while ago, a group of defiant revolutionaries destroyed an Imperial dreadnought. 3,000 people were aboard, including Darth Jagus, a Lord of the Dark Council. We chose to strike at Darth Jagus publicly so that every Imperial citizen would know the truth. The Dark Council is not invulnerable. We can affect change. We regret the sacrifice of so many civilians, but it was necessary. The Empire cannot cover up this momentous event. Imperial intelligence cannot silence our call to arms. Get to the point, you piece of filth. What is it you really want to say? He's coming to the climax. He knows how to put together a broadcast, all right? Here, here it comes. This is only the first step towards a better future. We have agents throughout the Empire preparing to strike again and again. We will not relent until our government chooses strength over weakness. Unity over discord. We will continue to show the anger of the people. This is the Eagle. End transmission. So, our enemy has a name. You think you can deal with that, Agent? It won't be a problem, sir. Glad to hear it. We've made mistakes today. We underestimated the Eagle. We were too slow to eliminate the dissidents. We assumed the Dark Temple was the Soul Terror's target. You performed above and beyond expectations. You showed you can handle these people, and now you're going to show us the way forward. Nice to know someone recognizes my skills. For once, try to sound professional. You are going to head our operation to dismantle the Eagle's network. You will locate and eliminate his terror cells through infiltration, manipulation, and assassination. I am assigning you a rank and designation as suits your new position. You no longer have a name. You will answer only to Cypher 9. Um, no. I have a name. I'm not giving it up, even for Imperial Intelligence. It's part of the job, I promise. You'll get used to it. Cypher 9, huh? Cute. But I think I'll keep calling you Agent. With the rank come certain privileges, including a degree of operational independence. You may recruit your own operatives and you will be outfitted with a starship. Ooh. Watcher 2, you will remain Cypher 9's liaison to base. I assume that won't be a problem. No problem, sir. Glad to stay a part of this operation. Good. Begin analyzing all reports on recent dissident activity. I want a list of possible terror cell locations within the hour. The Eagle says he's got agents around the galaxy. Assuming he's telling the truth, you're going to be doing some traveling. There are worse fates than seeing a few new planets. Indeed. Your starship is at the spaceport. It's been refit and removed from public record. Watcher 2 will upload likely activity centers for the Eagle and his network. Proceed to your targets as you see fit. The cells will be eliminated, along with the Eagle. Be careful of these people, Cypher. Destroying the Dominator was no mean feat. Killing Darth Jadis was nearly unthinkable. But this is our job. Do whatever is required. And good luck. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it just got real. Ooh, hello. Pluses to everything. Don't mind if I do. Sweet. Um. Oh, let's go look at our ship, shall we? Alright, um. Hang on. Let me change my guns. Like I said, 
he's got absolutely no problems whatsoever taking on this mission. Uh, he can't abide people who would sacrifice innocent lives. That goes against everything he believes. And he would be more than happy to devote all of his skills to taking this down. Hello. Siphon 9. It's going to be a while before I'm used to saying that. Looks like we've got a moment of calm. How are you handling everything? I was going to ask you the same question. I appreciate the concern. Honestly, I don't know. The situation with the Dominator shook me. How is it that I can torture a colleague without feeling a thing? But 3,000 dead strangers is too much to handle? After what's happened, it, it sounds like a normal reaction to me. I suppose there's some small comfort in that. Thank you. Anyway, I shouldn't bother you with this. I've been monitoring you for too long. I'm starting to think of you as a friend instead of our alien agent. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Why stop with friendship? We're close. Why not get closer? Cypher, I have great respect for your capabilities, but we aren't compatible in the least. It's been a long day, and I've still got to send our reports to the Minister. Mm. Mm. Cypher 9. Looks like we've got a... Sorry, I should have said before I did that, I didn't want to choose the um, romance option, because... He, at least at this point in the story, I'm assuming sooner or later I'll get a romance option, but I don't think he's looking for romance right now. I want to be her friend, but my curiosity got the better of me, and I just had to see what um, <laughs> what she said. So, um, I'm sorry. I, I had to restart. I, now, normally, I will only restart conversations if the option I chose was making him say something I didn't want him to say. Um, but in this case, and every once in a while, I reserve the right that if I really just want to know what happens if you choose this option, I will choose it and then go back and choose what I really wanted because it's a video game and that's what video games are for. Um, but I will promise in the future that I will try to say that's what I'm doing before I do so. Um, I just didn't think to do that this time. I was going to ask you the same. I appreciate how is it that I can... After what's happened. I, suppose I think I that, um... Basically, here's the way I look at it with Ven, is he's kind of a flirt, and I don't think he minds, you know, getting busy with women from time to time, but people that might actually be friends of his, that he would consider friends, that he has a close working relationship with, he would not treat that way. Assets and people he meets at the bar and whatnot, he might play a little loose with, but he would rather be her friend. I think you guys understand what I'm saying, so. If we're friends, we're friends. Just because I'm not human, it doesn't mean we can't get along. I appreciate that. It takes some getting used to, that's all. But thank you. It's been a long day, and I've still got to send our reports to the Minister of Intelligence. I'm sure you have plenty to do yourself. Take care of yourself, all right? And you. So, um, yeah. Again, I apologize. I should have said that beforehand. Like, look, I, this is not the option I want to choose. I just want to see what it says. Um, and like I said, I will try to do so in the future. Uh, just because sometimes the curiosity gets the better of me. I just, I'm just really curious what happens if you choose such an option. And it's a video game, so I reserve the right to do that. Um, but yeah, no, I, I do plan on using my agent to seduce people, you know, if the, the chance comes up. Because I don't think he has any great problem with that. Um, but when it comes to people that might actually be friends, I don't think he would act that way. Now, I assume there will be a romance option at some time. Hell, maybe even Kyle is a romance option. And we'll see what happens when that comes. I I'm not opposed to Vin eventually maybe finding love, but mm, not this early in the story. Right now, as far as Vin is concerned, love is not a focus. Uh, it's not really something that he cares about greatly. Enjoy your what? I thought I had to go to the spaceport. Oh, whatever. Um, 
his, his mission is to keep the peace. That's all he thinks about day and night. Now, if, if a romance option comes up, maybe that'll change, but we'll just have to play that by ear. Let me guess. Now I, yeah, of course. I should have just gone there in the first place. Let's go see our new ship. I'm so excited to see it's the only ship in the game. I don't know what it looks like uh, because I know what the Sith ships look like. I know what the Jedi ships look like. Actually, I don't know what the trooper ship looks like. I know what the smuggler ship looks like. Actually, I don't know what the bounty hunter ship looks like either. Okay. So never mind. It's not the only ship. I don't know what it looks like. I know what the smugglers, I know what the Jedi is, and I know what the Sith ships look like. But I really don't know what the agent, the trooper, or the bounty hunter ship looks like. So this will be fun. new ship my new ship my new ship my new ship ship Ooh. oh wow very sleek is a very sleek ship. Take a look at this baby. Interesting. Ooh. Dude, this ship is cool. That is so neat. See, why can't the Jedi get cool ships like this? I'm sorry, but the Jedi ship looks like a dumb hammer fish, hammerhead shark. <laughs> it's really what it looks like. This is cool, though. new ship. Ah, I mean, greetings. I am 2VR8, that totem droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. <laughs> so I get a starship and a servant too. Not bad at all. I am relieved, uh, uh, pleased that you find me agreeable. 
I will never disappoint you, Master. I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, janitorial duty, and etiquette. Welcome aboard the X-70B Phantom, an experimental prototype resembling a luxury shuttle that conceals the combat capabilities of a heavy starfighter. Ooh. You'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker for storing valuables. The astrogation console contains a constantly updated map of the known galaxy. Interstellar communications are accessed via the ship's holo terminal. Priority alerts that you may find useful are available from the Imperial Holonet console. Lastly, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to issue new orders. Any questions, Master? I have a mission to complete. Time to see what this ship can do. Thank goodness you aren't deactivating me. I mean, good luck. I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the stress. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I function to serve you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on your bridge. It will program the proper astrogation coordinates and activate the engines. Thank you. Let's take a look at this baby. Ooh, a chair. Just to sit down in, you know, just so I can relax. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are there chairs there? The chairs here too. The chairs everywhere. Ooh, back to tank. That's useful. Probably need to be needing quite a bit of those. And that's you. That's ship exit. No time to chat, agent. This ship is neat. Might take a little time to get my bearings right. Uh, oh, this is my bedroom? Interesting. No, maybe it's not. Let's take a look at my map, shall we? Escape pod, ship exit. Where's my bedroom? This is a storage bin. Let's go ahead and put some stuff in here. Uh, actually, I don't think I really need to put anything in there. Probably gonna be selling most of this stuff. All right. Um, there's the exit. Right here's the hollow terminal. Oh, here's my bedroom. Ooh, look at the nice comfy bed. Oh, this is so neat. And these are space missions, yes? Flight Commander Pyrule, sir. I hear you're quite the pilot. Just what we need. The Republic grows bolder. Their attack squadrons ambush Imperial targets and disappear into open space. We're struggling to compete. Why would the Republic risk war over these space skirmishes? Open warfare's just around the corner. They're likely probing us for weaknesses, readying for battle. I've scrambled the Cast 23rd and Dreadwing, but it's not enough. We're forming an exclusive response squadron, the Empire's Fury. According to your skill set, I'm nominating you for squadron leader. Care to help our fleet rout the Republic? Uh... All right, tell me what to do. Appreciate it, sir. Your call sign will be Night Strike. Uploading mission data to your ship now. You'll work alone while the rest of the squadron assists throughout the galaxy. Strike with fury. Strike for the Empire. Okay. Um. <sighs> trying to think what Vin would think of these. I'm going to be doing these I'll probably a lot off camera because they're really good experience. Um, however, how would Vin feel about it? Maybe he thinks that if he, um, if he can do enough to stop these, uh, 
fights that he can help avoid war somehow? I'm not sure. I'm probably not going to be doing many space missions on camera simply because you have all seen them before in the other LP. So, and like I said, my goal for this LP is to make it more streamlined. I don't want to spend a hundred different episodes um, leveling up and stuff like that, so. Right. Nice digs. I think you got a message on that thing. Download and begin playback. Cypher 9, intelligence is finalizing your target list, but in the meantime, there's a formality we need to address. Oh. With Darth Jadis' demise, his seat on the Dark Council has opened. It will be filled by his daughter and sole apprentice, Darth Jorid. Jadis has a daughter? Lord Jorid demands to meet with you. Proceed to Korriban at once. She has authorized your presence in the Sith Academy. Okay... I've never been to the Empire's first capital. I assume you haven't either. Met a guy who went grave robbing there once. Lost his tongue to the Sith and felt lucky. Not my kind of place. Give me a shout if you need something. I'm gonna see how they stock the lounge. Okay then. To Korriban we go, I guess. Interesting. Alright, well, let's go to Korriban.